Good afternoon, everyone. Andy Jacob here with Dotcom Magazine. We have a very special guest today, Oksana Kolesk Nikava. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and what a beautiful name. And uh, what a beautiful organization Oksana has put together. She is the founder and the CEO of Oksana's Foundation, Oksana's. 5013C charity. It's amazing. Uh, she is also, it's a foundation. She's also a world renowned pianist. And she has taken her love for music and put together an amazing nonprofit organization to help children with the arts. So, Oksana, it's such a delight to have you on the show today. It's my pleasure. I'm happy to be here, Andy. And please tell us about your foundation. Congratulations on uh, becoming a 5013C. I know it's something that was very dear to your heart to get that designation. So tell us about the foundation, if you would. Yes, of course. Actually, this foundation was, um, you know, it's, it's been my dream for over a decade now. I always wanted to open my own foundation and um, lead this foundation with a mission behind. And finally, as of uh, beginning of this year, 2020, I officially have received my 501c3 status. And uh, we just, you know, ready to roll and uh, take it to a national and even international levels. But our foundation, um, we uh, work in the industry of private and supplemental education. So we provide um, opportunities for children to learn other aspects that traditional education normally does not include. And uh, things such as uh, music lessons, uh, piano, singing, um, violin, guitar, uh, we provide uh, foreign languages, um, Spanish lessons, Italian, French. Um, we also do academic tutoring for children who need um, help with math, science, reading. And we also do after school enrichment programs where we bring our um, you know, subjects and our professionals who specialize in those subjects, we bring them to schools and give opportunity for children um, to enjoy learning and mastering a new skill. Uh, so the foundation derived from the business model that we operated for over 20 years. And it's our original company, Oksana Management Group where we provide all these programs um, and you know being so long in this industry and actually being an educator and mentor myself <laughs> and a lot of children i saw that there is a gap and need for our underprivileged youth normally children um you know, cannot afford these extra opportunities and services or their parents cannot pay for those services. Um, hence, we developed this branch um, where we can bring all of these uh, exciting programs to underprivileged youth. That's amazing. Now, Oksana is, a, is, a, is an entrepreneur's entrepreneur in her own right. She's had her own company for 20 years, and she's been able to sort of parlay that into this passion that she has to help underprivileged children with not only wonderful music programs, but all types of uh, uh, um, other programs as well, math and science and things like that. So what is it about what, what made you want to help these children? Because obviously this passion is very deep within you. So was this, was this something that you always felt even as a young child that you wanted to reach out and help others? Or is this something that happened as you became more of an adult? Well, that is a very, very good question. I, you know, I'm so blessed that I was given an opportunity early on. I think I was about five or six years old 
when my parents spotted my interest in music and they signed me up for music school and it turned out to be you know music became my passion my career um and it's just like i because they given me that opportunity i flourish as an adult doing what i love to do and you know, I love children. That's the core of my business. I um, have been educating children in music area specifically because that's my personal skill um, for over maybe like 20, 22 years. <laughs> so I've been working with a lot of children and I'm also a mother of a beautiful 10 year old boy who is also quite an entrepreneur <laughs> for his age and uh just my love for children um you know it it pushed me in the direction where child should not you know children have so much um you know so much potential if they're given the right opportunity, they can thrive and they can make big things. They can influence their communities, the world, when they are given the right tools. So unfortunately, the way the society is structured is that some, um, some people can benefit a little more than others, um, you know, from certain skills and certain opportunities. So in my view, I think everyone should be able to benefit, um, you know, from such opportunities and hence the development of Oksana Foundation plays role. So we not only provide services for, you know, upper middle class, middle class, but also for underprivileged youth who could find a great need for this particular area. That's wonderful, Oksana. So the Oksana Foundation has been actually percolating for, for many, many years, probably even back, you know, back when you were a teenager or even as a child when you had the, the initial break from your parents that uh, saw you be, had a passion for music and uh, became a, a wonderful a piano player or pianist. And you actually now can teach your skills to some of the people through the foundation. So it's a wonderful circle of life and it definitely looks like you're paying it forward in a very nice way. So when you watch a child that hasn't been exposed to, let's just use the piano, for example, hasn't been exposed to sort of music, maybe, maybe, they're, um, maybe they've just seen some tougher things in their life, but they haven't been able to really to hear the music or play the music. What's, what's the experience of teaching that child for the very first time when they get behind the keyboard? That is a wonderful, wonderful question. So I believe that all, all of us, children included, we all have potential. There is music in all of us. There is that great ability that just waiting to be developed and shine through learning and mastering the skill. And so when I take on um, a new student, it's very interesting because they have so much excitement, so much, um, they very enthusiastic about their craft. And when they start, they see, they start um, developing the ability and be able to execute with their fingers what they have in their brain that discovery moment is priceless for me or for any of our instructors that are part of our team is when child discovers their ability and how fun it is to create and learn music and to share it with others so i guess that's the main moment in time when they discover that so that's when it all culminates in, in to all the hard work and the dedication and all of your background and experience for the past 20 years owning your own company as an entrepreneur, when it all sort of culminates into this moment when this child finally kind of realizes that there's some music within him, I would imagine that has make, makes it all worth it for you and all of your instructors. 
It is so true. It is so true. And the way I see it, we pass this beautiful art form to a new generation where they will influence in turn their children and their grandchildren and pass on that life for a specific art form. So that's beautiful. And they'll remember their teacher and their teachers and pass that forward to their children and their grandchildren. So you're starting a a wonderful cycle of music and knowledge for for these young people through your foundation. So Oksana, that's fantastic. So if we look at the foundation right now, I'm sure people watching this and people that get to know you are going to want to participate in the foundation. How do people get a hold of you? How do they participate in the foundation? Are you looking for teachers or are you looking for for money, what exactly do we need right now to continue to make this wonderful mission um, continue to, to, to move forward in a much positive, much in, in a positive way? Yes, of course, of course. Um, you know, I, uh, your uh, listeners, they can find me on my website, which is oksanafoundation.org and Oksana spells O-K-S, a and A. Um, I'm also quite um, quite active on social media. So my Instagram account is at pianist Oksana, and uh, my Facebook page is Oksana Foundation. So they can always find me there. And um, as um, you know, the figure behind this amazing project and making difference in so many people's lives and um, our communities. I'm always, always looking for team members who share my vision, who love children, who want to make, um, you know, their future better by providing opportunities. So yes, I'm always looking for team members, volunteers, and remember that we not only offer music classes. I use music um, a lot as an example because my background is a musician, but we also have instructors uh, and we're looking for instructors in other areas such as teaching a foreign language and helping tutoring children. So yes, they can always you know find me on social media or um, you know, or uh, on my, through my website. And of course, as any uh, nonprofit organization, we're always looking for donors and sponsors who share the same vision and join us to make a difference in this world. That's wonderful. And I know you have some upcoming events that I saw on your website. You want to talk about those events that are upcoming for uh, the Oksana Foundation, they seem to be very interesting. They look like they're going to be a lot of fun. Of course, of course. Well, we are planning our uh, fundraising gala event. So it's, it's a beautiful event with amazing food and live music. And we'll have some of our children performing there. Um, so we are a little bit on... Um, um, little bit indecisive on what date it's going to be because initially it was set for August 8th, but now we're in California. There is a lot of changes due to pandemic. So it looks like we have to push this event a little later for late September, October. But on my social media and on my website, once we lock in specific um, dates and time, I will be posting this and people can go ahead and reserve their seats. See, that's wonderful. And, and for people in California and even outside of California that might want to fly in, this is going to be a great chance to meet Oksana and many of her instructors and then actually listen or, or listen to some of the youth play their instruments and show off their, their talents, if you will, and get to meet some of those children and, and fall in love with the children and fall in love with Oksana's mission. Um, before we go, I just have a couple of kind of maybe funny questions to ask you. So what, who, which composer is your, is your inspiration? Do you have a favorite composer? 
That's a very good question. Well, my background is classical. I was, um, you know, I was studying that when I was going through schooling, even though I'm not limited to classical uh, material only as an artist. I have my YouTube channel under Oksana Bella, and I have everything from rock to jazz <laughs> to pop, including classical. But classical is my foundation. And the composer that I just love, love, love um, is Sergei Rachmaninoff. So his music is very inspirational, very deep, very challenging <laughs> to play. And it's just, that's something to my DNA, I guess, being a Russian, <laughs> you know, he just brings that, you know, those emotions out of, um, of me. Well, he's a lively composer and he, he has a lot of, um, a lot of guts to his compositions, and it's it makes sense that a, a woman of your experience and background that uh, is passionate about you do loves that composer as well. And I want to thank you so much for coming on the show today, and really congratulations on your foundation, and uh, thank you for spending the time with us. I know you're you've got a very tight schedule, and thank you for fitting us in today. Thank you so much, Andy, and it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank <music> you.